Hey there, Draw here, and welcome to Nimby Rails. So, this is a game coming out on the 26th of January, developed by Carlos Carrasco. And basically, what it does is it allows you to build railways anywhere in the world on a real map, any way you want. So, it's like a tycoon y sandbox game, which basically puts you in charge of a railway company, which you design the routes, you design the trains, you design every aspect of it and have to manage it in both an ethical and profitable way. So you are restrained to the confines of the real world map. And basically, for example, you're building a railway. If you come up to a lake or a large city, you either have to build a viaduct over it or a tunnel underneath it. Or otherwise, wide open lands, you can build just a track through it. And I'm sure as we go through the video, we'll go into more detail about how all the um, aspects of it works. But like I said, it comes out on January 26th. It does look like quite an interesting little concept. And well, NIMBY. NIMBYism. Not in my backyard. If we're going to create a railway, I thought, what is the most NIMBY-esque railway that I can think of at the moment? One that I'm sure everybody will love, regardless of how it comes out. And so for our first video, I thought we'd create uh, the ever-loved HS2, High Speed 2 project here in the UK, here in NIMBY Rails. So we'll start a new game. We will... Leave it with the built-in stuff. So there are mods available via the Steam Workshop. So mods, pre-built routes, that kind of stuff all comes with it. But I thought we'd start off with the UK's most loved railway project, HS2 Limited. We won't use unlimited money. We'll stay to confines of finance. So you start off with $1 billion. You take out bank loans. If you need more money, you can take bank loans back, pay back, whatever. So like I say, it's all bound to real world kind of stats and finances and ethics but you have the entire world to play with and that's the uh the fun bit of Nimu rails so here we are in the main menu it's not too difficult to get around it does take a little bit of learning in fact we'll quickly pause time for the sake of uh well not going too fast ahead so on the left we have the tracks menu where you can build blueprints tracks and purchase it your lines so once you've built the lines and stations and all that and now you need to wire it all up so Station, 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 sector line speeds, ticket price, that kind of stuff. And finally, we have trains. So once you've built the railways, once you've built the lines, you've defined it all. You can buy your trains. You can then name it, serial it, base colours, that kind of stuff. And then input that train onto a line and slide services through there. On the right-hand side, you now have your map modes. So if you play map, you have your population density map. So if we zoom in, say, to London... You'll start to notice that, well, blue dots everywhere, as each blue dot represents, I think it's like 100,000 people, something like that. And then out of London, it gets less and less as less people live in these areas. And then the other bits become more important when we start actually building the railway. So you have your plane tracks. If you're doing different lines, that lines overlay shows you which lines they are. The speed overlay shows you the line speed of these tracks. The finance tab shows you the company's accounting and deeds. So for example, we've got one line out at the moment. We may take a second line out later. Accounting is just how the finances work each day, and then mods if you have any mods installed. Uh, next, we just have a little search option, and then finally the main menu. So, uh, I'd say today we are building HS2, the UK's favourite NIMBYism railway project. And like I said, I've got a map of the actual project itself on my right hand side, and the plan is to recreate that as close to real life as possible. So, We'll be building phase one at this stage, so London, Euston to Birmingham, Kerr Street. And the way it kind of works, so the railway doesn't take the path of the West Coast Main Line, it's meant to kind of replace it. So it heads to the west, curves in a nine, like a 45 degree angle, almost straight line up, and then into Birmingham itself. So first things first, we shall build our terminus out of Euston. You'll notice as well, so King's Cross, you've got St Pancras, you've got Euston, you've got Marlebone just over here somewhere. And you'll see where the railway lines used to be, it's now just empty, nothing. So, as you say, it's kind of your job to build these railways. And with some parts, if you build like a real life railway, you kind of follow the pathway where they are in real life, make life a bit easier for yourself, as there's less things to avoid. But just overall, it's a cool, cool little idea, and one that I'm going to have a lot of fun kind of showing off to you guys today. Another thing with HS2 as well, I mean, give me another way of taking a fast train from London, Euston specifically, up to Birmingham. I mean, I can tell you, certainly can't be done. Certainly can't be done, especially via Milton Keynes. 
Right, let's jump right into it, shall we? So we are going to build, first of all, the train station at London Euston. So we'll be selecting the platforms to be on the ground. And the platforms themselves will be on the far right hand side of the station. So about here, we'll be length the platform up. That will do. And initially, we'll build a ground track underneath the centre of London. So as you can imagine, ground tracks are the cheapest, followed by, sorry, tramways are the cheapest, followed by, sorry, ground track, then tramway, then tunnel, then viaducts. Viaduct being a very expensive uh, way to build a track. So we've got our way out. We've got to try and angle it in a way where we don't conflict with bridges. So I see if we build it too far to left or right, we have a conflict. One water road hits as the angle of the bridge is not quite right. To avoid that, we could build a viaduct or a tunnel. Or you can adjust the angle slightly just to get the bridges into play. So we'll uh, build the initial track outwards. That will do. At this point in reality, there's a sidings yard for high speed trains. And now we will enter a tunnel. So the tunnel itself goes from just outside of Euston to West Rice. So where the Chilton Railway and Central Line ends. Tunnel shoots out and the train continues all the way through to Birmingham. So we'll start building the tunnel now. Entry points just outside of the road. As always, the cheaper we can get this project, the better it will be for us financially. Also, the better it will be in terms of public creation as well. So, small adjustments to the track. Get that tunnel right up to the road. That's probably will do. That'll do nicely, perfect. And then the tunnel, angle it to the left, and our exit point will be just by uh, the station between, and that is called Odd Common. So that's where the former Great Western Railway depot used to be. Odd Common, it's uh, Great Western Railway, so we follow that pathway down around Acton, and I believe it's around here somewhere. I find the Hilton main line. So there's central line, follow it around, head that through North Axis to Hanger Lane. That's going to be the change. So yeah, this here is all that common. So we'll build the second station, so will be on the surface. And that will take the length of this bit right here. So you can see that's where the old North Dot Axon main line used to split, right western to Chilton. We then got the Greenford station just a bit further on as well, right over here. And so that right there is an approximate location of where the Ardo Common station will be. We'll now switch back to track building mode. Build a tunnel again as it pretty much goes straight back into a tunnel. Just trying to make it as high speed as possible. We're aiming for about 200 kilometers per hour, the HS2. Because that's the uh, speed that the line should be running at. Uh, are we building this correctly? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. For some reason, it, ah, right. So basically, if you've got a track selected, what you can do is inadvertently change its type. So that needs to be tunnel, not viaduct. Right. So now, if we build a tunnel, that's a straight line. Connect stations up, and as it goes underground, avoids all the road cities and everything. You can pretty much go straight through it without, well, annoying anyone. AKA nimbyism, not as bad of a problem. Out of Old Oak Common, we'll now build a new tunnel. And this will be following the approximate path of the Chilton line. So like I say, we'll be heading towards West Rice before we exit the tunnel. We build another grounds track over here. Put that alongside the Chilton main line. Stick the tunnel underneath. And adjust it so that we're not building any bridges over this road here. Perfect. Back to tunnel mode and just stick a massive tunnel between Ardo Common and Ricelip. Perfect. So you can see already we've created a nice straight little track out. Straight track means high speed. Back to building mode. And now we build on the ground. So we'll be heading out as far as Wickham, I believe. We're eventually making a more northerly course heading virtually straight line to Birmingham. There's a few small little areas we need to avoid. So, for example, Stratford upon Avon 
we have to kind of go more northerly around but ultimately it's a nice simple approach in and also the station itself Curzon Street is not directly connected to the HS2 it's not a through station instead the line comes to the east of Birmingham for curving in and connecting into Curzon Street which is just somewhere to the south near Digbeth, Highgate, Sparkbrook there's the old line so somewhere near the uni housing I believe should we be able to find out a bit more detail in a bit towards the Digbeth it's around here somewhere South Birmingham College Highgate I believe it's this area here right let's get building shall we so ground rails we'll follow the Chilton main line out And again, one of the aspects of Nimbia that I just adore is the fact that you are building on a real-life railway, real-life map. Everything you see, everything you build, theoretically is possible. Because, as you say, you are following real-world constraints. So, you just quickly divide up over this river here. Back to the ground again. Make it slightly straighter for the sake of speed. And continue building outward again. So back on the ground and back through. So we're going to go through Denham Green. I believe we go through another tunnel somewhere here as well, not too far away. Yes, so right up to the road here, right by the Denham Green over space near the golf course and Denham Station, we'll then head into tunnel. So build ground right up to that. We will now head over to tunnel mode. And then position it right underneath town. So this tunnel again goes on for quite a bit of distance. Right by Wendover and Horton. So we're going to have to make a trip to the north. It's not too far from Stoke Mandeville. Oxford, South Oxfordshire, Didcot, Tame, Sidham, Princess Risborough. We can follow the actual Chilton main line up. Ellsbury. Like we spot it just nearby. Chesham. Just southeast of Aylesbury. Aylesbury Vale, Wendover. Ah, Stoke Mandeville, perfect. So, Stoke Mandeville, there's Halton. And just a bit further south, right here by Butler's Cross, that's where our tunnel will exit. So track construction, tunnel, and build an exit point just outside of Wendover. Again, it's both cases of trying to get it as realistic as possible close to real life and finding out the exact place to, well, the best place to put it, bringing minimal disruption to wherever around here and cost, of course, because the more tunnel you build, the more expensive it gets. So we will... Probably so. We're looking at this area here somewhere. Those roads we could probably get around Coombe Hot Hill. So the tunnel exit portal right here. There we go. That's tunnel mode. And then connect you to the line we've already established. Perfect. Out of Wendover, head back to Grounds Track. It's just to the outside of uh, Valesbury. Again, we're going to cause a little bit of conflict. There we go. Run alongside the main road before entering into another tunnel. So just outside of Wadston, jump back into the tunnel and go underneath. Before we get back to this part of the track, what I'm now going to do 
is builds the approach out of Birmingham. So this is the other bit that's going to cause a bit of trickiness. London's easy, but out of Houston, tunnel out, you're gone. Birmingham, this is where things get a little bit more uh, complicated. So first of all, we're going to go find Curzon Street, which is on the uh, ring road to the north side, just by the running track here. That there is Birmingham Curzon Street, I believe. Yes, so we're going to build a station. This one again on the ground. Station platforms on the ground. And we're going to head out underneath the main road here. So straight line out. Don't go it too long because platform lengths are limited by the game. So we're going to shoot both the wrong length and also going through roads. So we're going to just cut that station slightly and actually position it maybe here instead. There we go, looks a lot more uh, feasible. Next, we build a viaduct out. Well, technically it's a viaduct in the real life. Since there's no railways in the sim, you can just cheat out a bit and build it on the ground. As we go alongside this line here, and follow it out on the way through London. So like I say, you can easily use existing railways that no longer exist in the world to make your own route still bit easier. So we'll do that. And then it's just a case of getting the angle right on that lake, on that river, or even the canal, to be fair, for Birmingham. Get the angle right, get the bridge as straight as possible. There, 350 speed limits, 350 speed limits, that's perfect. Back to build mode. Continue the route outward. And it's around here, the H2 depot itself will actually be um, situated. So follow the route out, follow the route out, follow the route out. And then tunnel through Birmingham into the next open space just over here by Water Autumn. So we get that tunnel constructed. And that one comes out just around the motorway. Likely to the south of Water Autumn, just about here. Now build the ground track, connects you to the tunnel. Move it ever so slightly so that the tunnel entrance is a bit closer to the water. Again, ground track's more, well, ground track's cheaper than tunnel. Therefore, something to save a bit of money with there. Now we head back to ground mode. Well, the tunnel exit portal just to the south of actually. We don't need to demolish it, we can just go around it instead. I'm sure that would be appreciated. And then Follow the motorway around on its north side. Ah, this road. It's a bit of a sharp corner there. 116 is limited to do. Can we make that a bit shallower? Radiuses do play a big part of this game in regards to getting your speeds. Uh, yeah, we'll go through that road there. 172, not quite 200, but I think that's probably as good as we can get it. 179. Okay, so we can have a slower approach into the Birmingham itself. That won't cause too many problems. And then it's actually here where the line splits one going to the north, one going to the south. So phase two, we'll take it to the north. We're continuing phase one, we're heading south. Budget wise, we're now over budget. We have $1 billion to start with, now on $1.12 billion. And that is later when the bank loans were start to come into use but that we'll do with later now we'll just continue our over budget railway so from here we now continue on south on the ground we cross over with the motorway again still aiming to head to the south still aiming to cause as minimal conflicts with the roads as possible in fact i think that may actually work out quite nicely Awkward set of bridges. If we can't quite get it perfect, I think a viaduct may be the most viable option. Yeah, I think we'll viaduct across this one. So we'll select the viaduct key, build it across, just the start location, just a bit further back, and then end it just as it passes through. This is something even more complicated bit of route because we do have to connect to Birmingham International, I believe. Well, not actually, because it's the Birmingham Interchange, not International. So, actually, it's more here-ish, crossing over. Back 
Beacon Hill. There's uh, well, there's the international airports. There's the train station for the West Coast Main Line. We are going a bit more south, the interchange. So we'll carry on. Follow the road around. I think that'll be our easiest way to do things. Back to ground. Build the exit for the viaduct just outside. We've got a few conflicts. Five water road hits. Try to figure out where those all are. Uh, that's fine. That's all fine. Is it over towards the other side? It's got a few wrong length issues as well. Ooh, not too sure, actually. There's the station. We head out to the north. Curve around. Carry on. Five water all road hits. Okay, so a bit of digging, and I can see here we have an issue with the length of the tunnel. So what I'll probably do is I'll delete this section track here. So I've got two more with the wrong length. So basically, there is a limit to how big you can build some of these things, and it's easy to fix. You just split it into two sections. So tunnel. We'll build a tunnel as far as I believe this is. Well, there's, well, hang on, there's West Rice right Slip, so that's where we need to build the entry points to the tunnel. Just hang on, no, it's West Rice right Slip, so tunnel is by the golf center, I believe. Just there. Second tunnel, we'll just stick it outside of South Rice right Slip somewhere. And then we'll build a slightly longer tunnel along the North Ox Axon main line. Is that Paravel? Yeah, it's Paravel. And from Paravel, we'll just uh, complete it to the uh, rest line. So there you go. That's no longer a lo length issue. And then same as before, we'll build a new tunnel. We'll go for a slightly longer capture route. 257, as long as again above 200, that's all that matters for me. And then we'll rebuild one about halfway, so we'll go through Hyde Heath. And Hyde Heath will complete it at Wendover. Perfect. Still two issues with long length. Let me confirm that. Still over here, so if we delete that again, let's just uh, add another subsection. So we'll go as far as Coles Hill. And from Coles Hill, we'll go as far as Great Missenden. Still long length. There we go. So actually, Little Missenden. Little Missenden will carry on. And ah, still long length, just a bit too short. That's so we'll go to the Lee. And then the Lee into uh, Wendover. Perfect. Now, the water issue is in and around Birmingham itself. So that can be a few canals we're conflicting with. Just to confirm. That's it is Ah road. Okay, okay, I see it. So yeah, well I'm not building Well actually that's tunnel, sorry. Somewhere there's a road. We're not quite bridging over. It's not the train station itself. It's not there. Is it going to be the Junction out. So building a bridge over that, building bridges over those. Building bridges, building bridges, building bridges. Okay, so there is a conflict somewhere. I just can't quite see where it is. If I delete track. Okay, so there was a conflict there. You can see we've now gone down from five to four. That one's fine. So what I'm doing, I'm deleting and retrieving track section by section just to see where these conflicts are and what's causing them that's a four that's a four that's a four that's a four three so there's an issue there somewhere three and the station that's fine so there's conflict there 
and somewhere completely down south. Could there be one just outside of Euston I might have missed? That's the only other place I can think of with surface track apart from over here. Yeah, I can see that's not crossing the road properly, so... So it looks like a tunnel, that's fine. Uh, so, bridge, bridge, go south. There was an issue there, down to two conflicts. There's conflicts right there, I can see it. So, we'll delete this bit of track. And I can see a bit of track there. Therefore, delete that. So, small, small things you've got to tweak. Small, small things you've got to rebuild. Just to uh, get your line working properly. So, go back to surface track. Continue building down to the south side of just like Mandeville, Ellsbury, sorry. We've exited the tunnel now, so this is all going to be surface track. Get the angle right. There we go. This one again, get the angles right for the bridges. Perfect. Make use of this open space. And just connect the two, if possible. So we're hitting that lake there at a 45 degree angle. It's not the chiefs way of doing things, but we'll stick a tiny, tiny little viaduct over it. Just to raise track up. For it, perfect. Some more adjustments, keep the speed up. Just the viaduct starting and end location. do. Right, back to Birmingham, let's see what the issues there were. So, build another bit of ground track. Two roads of water hits. Still hitting water somewhere. Still hitting water somewhere. The issue is Aylesbury somewhere. Uh, not you. Well, it could be you actually. No, it's not. You're in a tunnel, so you're fine. Tunnels don't matter somewhere here water water could be you if I try and build around that perhaps then so ground track I mean I could just build a viaduct over the entire thing but uh ah hang on that's the issue spot ya and now we're winning okay can't bulldoze over a lake, can you? So we'll continue construction now to the south. Track preferably, not viaduct. Get the exit portal just there. Make the adjustments again. It's around here. We need to build the new station. So we cross over that, no problem. If we build the ground station of the uh, interchange, it's not quite that roundabout, I believe. Yes, yeah, so it's over the M5 and then continuing on south. So our bridge or well, track slightly too far to the left there, I believe. Try and get a bridge over there. It'll be easy to divide us across, won't it? So, back you off a bit. Stick a viaduct over. And then back down to the ground. Several bridges later. And so at this point I realise actually no, it's here where the interchange is, so delete that a moment, we'll build the new station, this one on the ground, new platform, 
and that lives right here. Wrong length. In fact, if we were just to move that a little bit more snug to the town there of Chemsley Wood, that will, uh, at the very least, increase the population numbers a bit, because as always, population density does matter. And here, a little bit busier than the um, other side. Perfect. Connects you to you. Nope. Smallish turn there, around that lake, and into the track. Adjust the alignment. Adjust the alignment. Now, back to the viaduct. Stick you across the motorway. That'll do. And now we're winning. At this point on, it's now basically a straight straight line to connect both of these together. We avoid all major towns, all major cities, we'll go south of Royal Eaton Spa, through Gaydon, through Banbury, cut across through Cherwell, and then north of Bista. So we go back to Grounds Track. Make sure that we're building bridges over everything. across bridge across oops a bit too slow there 182 so adjust the curvature more bridges across <laughs> this is basically what this game is bridges 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 until we get to the end of the line uh, 1.2 billion we spent. Don't forget, we've also got to make sure we've got money for the trains and infrastructure afterwards as well. So, if we were to go a bit more to the right, perhaps. Change the alignment of this track, so small adjustments to get that correct. Ah, there's a river there, which I'm not countering for. There we go, right. Uh, maybe worth sticking a tunnel somewhere as well. Bit too difficult, the tunnels are always an uh, option to go for. Cross the West Coast Main Library, that is, no, yes, West Coast Main Line out of Coventry. There we go. Okay, again, that slow down right down. Nice long chunk track there. Go around Kenilworth. I think we've got a tunnel underneath the uh, Leakwatton and Leakwatton Guys Cliff. And Rollington Spa. Yeah, we'll just uh, tunnel right through. Not the cheapest option. But the easiest option, back out to the other side. Continue the track, just south of Southam. Go north of the uh, Prize Hardwick. So we're heading the right direction, that's all that matters right now. A few roads that may cause a bit of issue for us again later. Yeah, it's the water links again. I think we might have to re 
build this bit of track. So we've got a more Wars Conflict somewhere further up line as well. Where's that? Probably one of these over here. Delete you. No. Delete you. There's one. Not you. Somewhere up here there's a water link issue. Ah, there. Perfect. So, delete all of that. Straight across that one. Bridge across these two. Let us those lines to be down a tiny bit. Big radius curve. Should have sought that. 179. Not enough. Yeah, that bridge is going to cause us a problem, is it? I mean, we could just slow things down, but what's the purpose of a high-speed rail if you can't go high-speed? Uh, so you change the alignment then. 208, that's fine. Change you slightly, so you go over there. And then connect the two together, hopefully. Not quite as easy as that, though. Two eight seven one nineteen. That's definitely not going to happen. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? So, okay, so connect these two tracks together with the minimal slowdown possible. One six three. Now to change the. Uh, Directioning entirely. So if we instead make a Ryan turn first, using spent the open space around Spencer's end. Get out to the two hundred mark up, which it can do. Then curve to the left again. Two hundred and seven, two hundred thirty. Drag you to the right. That we can live with. And connect these two together. One hundred ninety-four. Just a bit too shy. That's just a bit too shy. Perfect. Okay, that works for us. So we've tunneled across uh, Royal Inton Spa now. We'll continue on with our track build. I think if we not go that way now, so delete you, build. And there are some townships that we can't ultimately avoid. more bits of water we're conflicting with over here. So much waterland nearby, that's what's dragging us down. I think if we head back down to Iceland again, I think we'll continue this new tunnel and we'll see where this one comes out. Alright, where is Quainton? Where is Quainton? Quainton just to the north, so actually we'll adjust the alignment slightly. And we'll head up to the north instead. So pull the tunnel, pull the tunnel. 350, end the tunnel, that's fine. It's quite a short tunnel, this. Back on out again. And continue building north. So close, yet so far. And there's one water or road conflict. Two 
just that. And another one just there. That's what I'll do. Right, back to straight line track. So over the water, across the road, across the road, back over the water. As you see, it's a lot less populous here now. As a result, building track is so much easier. So much easier, much less now to avoid. Straight through. We head just to the south of Preston at Bisset. Barton Hothshorn. Cut across Mixbury. Brackley. How are we going to get around Brackley? I think going to the north of Brackley. 1.5 billion spent so far. We've got to get this infrastructure right. Issue. Ah, there, so small, 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 perfect. Almost there, almost there. Prize Hardwick is our last frontier. One more water conflict, one more, and it's just over where? Let's river, is it? No. I can't quite see where the conflict is. So we'll make some small adjustments to the track alignment, see if we try and find out where it is and what's causing the problem. One water or ride error. Not hard to see anything as I can see. Uh, our track goes across, that's fine. If I delete you, that removes the conflict, so we'll just build it slowly over again. Alright, so I'm going to have to divide up over that instead. So, pop open the viaducts. Build across the two waters. Hook you up. Hook you up. And there we have it. We've just built the uh, HS2 network. Not one for one, not exact, but that's a pretty close representation as to where the uh, railway will travel in real life. So, now, the problem is, we can't afford it. So we're going to do take out a bank loan. So we'll take out the uh, maximum amount we can do, pay back in 10 years. We'll take out the new loan. And we'll build the new track. Yes. Now, before we uh, start looking to trains, we now must build the depots. So the first depot is pretty simple, Washwood Heath Depot. We'll be sticking that just alongside the main line over here in the open space. So as a new depot, let's probably do that. Let's build the branch line, shall we? So we'll branch off the line here. Stick you just alongside. And create a new depot from here to here. Perfect. Just the alignments. It doesn't need super high speed since it's just a slow depot exit out of the, uh, well, the depot. And finally, while technically not a depot, we do need to keep trains somewhere down in London. And so just alongside Odd Common Station, we'll also stick a depot here. Also, we'll build the uh, branch line out. So, open new. 
figure out why you want us to go down to the tunnel immediately. Sweep rock with that. Well, to be fair, it's a tunnel, got to build it up to the surface, so it actually does have some uh, sense to it. So we'll cut across, we'll build it outward. Stick a depot alongside. And connect the dots. Finally, HS2 is now complete. So we'll build the blueprints and we'll finalize that. Now rename stations, so Robert Stephenson will become London Euston. Chats Paddock will become Old Oak Common. Uh, Birmingham Interchange is next, that is over here. Finally, Birmingham, Curzon Streets. We have described some nice next track here, haven't we? So let me quickly uh, finalise that. My mistake. There. Now. Hang on. Oh no, what conflict? What have we done this time? <laughs> uh, Carl Andrea. What a conflict, what a conflict, what a conflict. It's one of these, well, it's the canals here that just need to be uh, bridged. I think we'll just viaduct it instead. Back to ground. And build, right. And finally, Curzon Street. Why can we not select Curzon Street? Uh, probably not in the right mode. There we go. Birmingham Curzon Street. It used to be the former terminus of the Robert Stephenson West Coast Main Line, but now moved to New Street. Right. Now we come to the second bit. So we built the railway, we built all the connections, now we build the lines. So it's pretty simple. There's only really, uh, well, one service hat these lines will have. So we'll start off with the first line. London, Euston to Birmingham, Curzon Street. Euston is EUS. Birmingham, Curzon Street will likely be C Z. Ah, oh, CZLCZS. Base ticket, we'll sell these tickets from, we'll say, £20, or in case $20, and the price per kilometre will likely be, depends per kilometre, Cousin Street will go for HS2 Blue, I think, which is about this shade here. And now we'll start adding the stops. So starting out at Euston, we head over to Otto Common. Otto Common, we zoom through to Interchange. And then from Interchange, we head over to Curzon Streets. Then we turn around through Interchange, through Otto Common, and then back into Euston. Finally, we come on to the trains. So we've got 367 million to spend through. And can go at least 100 kilometers per hour and perhaps slightly cheaper. So six cars per train set. This is two cars per train set. So actually no, two cars are gonna limit us quite heavy, won't it? Six cars per set, 350 kilometers per hour, which is high speed, but we're probably not gonna go quite as fast. And actually looking at the HS2, uh, official documentation. Technically, it's going to be a top speed of 299 kilometers per hour, so 299 up to 186 miles per hour, so that's perfect for us. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet who's going to be building these trains, so we'll just call it High Speed 2, and the serial numbers, we'll call it HS2001, and then throughout to uh, how many trains you buy. Uh, so pick a decal and colour pattern. So the preliminary design will be kind of a blue stripe across the side of the trains, which uh, I guess this will be the closest to it. 
base color will be standard white and the decal colors just going to be the blue so again kind of like uh, that shade there we can buy a total of five of these trains yes we can purchase that and now we come to the timetable scheduling so h201 02 03 04 and 05 right uh now we have a schedule so we'll say trains are on from six in the morning with last arrival at about one in the morning so run the line we'll select Houston Birmingham starting from Houston starts on the Monday at 6 a.m. and then we'll add a new slot whoops Let me, uh, delete that slot there and this will be a depot run pick a depot you'll be starting off in Odd Oak and here we'll put in our depot time from 01 100. So that's our time to complete. We'll copy that for the day. We'll paste it in all the day slots now. So Monday to Friday, trains will run from 6 till 1. And then we'll go to the bulk time to load start. We'll select all five trains and we'll paste these all for every single day. So somewhere in the hotkey, you can paste four days. Or we can just do it uh, one by one, I think. So talking new time slots mode, paste all. Uh, we'll need to delete a couple of these slots that they put in by standard. So remove you, remove you, remove you, and remove you. Time zone, that's fine. Next day will be Tuesday. Paste it all. Wednesday, paste all. Thursday, and just so on, so on. Well, up your schedule. Go back to the lines mode. What I now need to do is sort out the interval. Let's make time, the uh, train times. So if I head over to that, idea speed will be 299. Average weight at stations will say will be 45 seconds. Actually, we'll put it up to a minute just for sake of uh, getting everything simplistic. So estimate that. London to Birmingham is one hour and six minutes. Return to London, two hours 13. So, if trains are now running from 6 till 1, that's 19 hours in a day. So, we'll run out to 20, 5 trains across 20 hours. Technically, that's the departure every 4 hours or so. So, that's fine. I'll go back to the trains mode. Uh, no, it's not. Somewhere. Interval times. All right, interval times. So, technically, for this to work out, We'd need a train every four hours, and that puts it at. Uh, hang on, I've done the maths correctly. No, I haven't, because it's a train every. So it's five trains for two hours for the return trip, not a train for the uh, whole twenty. So five trains in two hours. It's comfortably, we could do a train every twenty-five minutes. So we'll do that. Set the interval times for all the stations. And now, set the trains. Four and five will base out in Birmingham instead. So head over to this depot here. We'll pick. Uh, hang on, hang on. What have I done there? Nope. Slighter. So no. Put you back in Auto Common. Do it from the individual editor, I think. So uh, American Smith, Hammersmith, Hammersmith, Hammersmith. That's fine. Right. So. Two trains, base them in Birmingham. Of course, as we make more money, as we can buy more trains, we can populate the line a bit more, as well as start building phase two. But for the initial get-go, if we copy the day and paste it all, and then paste you all for that. Perfect. Uh, finally, one more change. We'll base you out of Birmingham, like I say, so your first station will be Burs uh, Cousin Street B. Copy the day again, paste it for all. I'm going like crazy, haven't I? Uh, Cousin Street B. Copy all slots. Paste it all. 
There goes the cousin, 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 cousin. Paste all. Cousin, 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 and cousin. And you're all based in. Uh, in Washwood Heath. So, that is everything now completed. We've built the railway. We financed it. We've still got 7 million in the bank, which is. Uh, well, <laughs> won't go into that. But uh, finally, if we start increasing time, the trains should start to unline. So you can see two trains up north, two trains down south, and they'll all run at high speed along the entire line. So we've got two, 20 passengers getting off at Curzon Street 8, getting off at the interchange. So far, satisfaction's all right. Two trains have just crossed over here in uh, Mixbury. Second train has 175 for Curzon, 182 for interchange. So obviously, already, as the line gets, uh, well, as opens up, more passengers start to uh, board. There you go, a few passengers get on to interchange. Sorry, it's um, Oddock on then. They get off at Euston. There's our time splits, and already five trains online. The They're nice split out. We could probably do with a sixth train if possible on the return journey to London. But in terms of getting this service going, we're looking alright. We just get the Lifetime accounting, you can see the cost of new trains, running cost of maintenance will always uh, start to increase. In terms of fares, we are starting to earn some money from passengers. More frequent service, busy trains always means we'll burn a bit more. But it's just a case of watching those numbers go up and hoping that passengers don't start to ask for refunds in regards to ticket issues. So if we make tickets too expensive, passengers will refuse and therefore ask for refunds. If we can price them just right, then of course that makes life a bit easier for us. So, so far so good. If we look at these trains in more detail, you can see that this train here has generated, well, it's got 36 passengers on board right now. It has a $2,400 maintenance cost a day. And somewhere, we can also check out the revenue that the lines make for us. So at the moment, we made 200,000 in fares. We made a total profit of 190,000, so we are making money online right now. Not much, as again, as we start to uh, increase things, we'll start to earn a bit more. But overall, we are slowly getting there, slowly putting our finances up. If we reduce you back to real time, there you go, two trains about to cross. Very nice. And so, uh, yeah, that is HS2 for Nimby Rails. I'll probably leave this going in the background for however long, because it would be nice to, uh, at some stage, actually build the Phase 2 and 3 parts of construction, so continue building further north. But, like I say, that's our Fatoroy Nimby Rails. That's the HS2 from London to Birmingham. Not a one-for-one -one exact replica of what it would be like in real life, but I'd say it's a pretty close rendition, given the routing, the tunneling on everything, just building everything around that. And uh, overall, it seems to be a fun little game. Again, you're free to do whatever you want, wherever you want, so you've got the entire world, the entire map at your disposal, and you can slowly uh, build your own railways, either real life or make up, however you want. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do leave a like. Do subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you again very much for your support, and I shall see you again, hopefully, for some more Nimby Rails in the very near future. Take care, have a good one, and I shall see you again in the very near future. Take care and goodbye.